Hello and welcome to another Carfection Commentaries where we take a classic film from our back catalogue, dust it off and present it to you as new but this time with some extra information provided about behind the scenes antics and some little bits and bobs that you might not have known about and may have been interested in and we're doing this to celebrate the fact that we've been doing this for five years! Yay! Yay! My name is Drew Stern and this is Alex Goy and, and today we have a film for you that's a little bit different from what yeah. we've done, but to date is probably our most watched film ever. Which, considering the amount of research and effort goes into some of the other stuff, I, I'm kind of upset about. But at the same time, I'm really happy that something so ridiculous has done so incredibly well. Yeah, because you know, internet. Internet. Um, this a still from this is actually used on the front as a as a holding still on a website called uh, Fatherly on their Facebook page. Really. About reasons why having a kid doesn't mean you have to grow up. Wow. Well, there's you in a race suit and me with a Nerf gun chasing you. Yeah, and I'm a dad, so that makes perfect sense. Now, if you'd actually like to watch this film in its original unadulterated version there's a link in the description that will take you there straight there right now but I do encourage you to stick around for some extra bits of information that you might not have heard about us before now should we hit play yeah hit play now this film is part of I guess a trilogy a trilogy though we may do another one I'm not sure I want to because <sighs> The Crazy Cart is a wonderful, wonderful thing. It's 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 a bizarre toy. In fact, the, it dates back to when we first saw the first Ken Box film. Yeah. Uh, Ken Box... Uh, is being, a piss take of yeah, Ken Block. Obviously, uh, yeah. Ken Box himself is the guy who invented the Crazy Cart. A guy called Ali Kamani, who is basically a cool guy. He's a skater, figured out how to make a thing that goes sideways a lot happen. And we saw this thing, decided we wanted it, and we did one in our office, um, resulted, the result of which meant we could never ever have a crazy car in the office again, because someone uh, drove one into the wall in the basement of our old office and punched an enormous hole in it. That wasn't the reason why. It was uh, we also of... destroyed the freshly waxed floor yeah, and uh, took some chips out of our office and basically muck shit up a we, bit. We got told we weren't allowed to race them around the, the, someone, the building. We someone had to shouted go. at you. Yeah, you got a, shouted at A little at. bit. But it did mean that we had an opportunity we, we to, to think of a creative. new idea. Yeah. So some phone calls were made because Crazy Cart really liked the first one and we enjoyed making it. The first one took three nights to make. Um, so we thought, why not a toy shop? So we got in touch with some people and we had a Toys R Us from closing time till opening time on a Sunday night to a Monday mm. and uh, they had two new ones out so there was the original Crazy Card but also the Crazy Card XL which was the one for grown ups because what they found was that supposedly supposedly but what they found was that um, dads were taking over their kids crazy carts and they wanted something a little bit bigger to fit the grown up frame so the idea was we were both going to be on the new XL Crazy Card but um, didn't really work. It out didn't that work way. out that way because uh, it broke down. These crazy carts have been used and abused mercilessly. So one of the XLs worked really well, but the other one just ate itself, and we lost a good two hours trying. Oh, to I'm wearing fix the same it. shoes. You, I just realised I'm wearing the same shoes as I was in that video. Update your wardrobe. I know. Please. Um, yeah, the XL crazy cart didn't work out quite as well. Oh, and the, the, the song in. going on in this bit is an advert for Toys R Us that was used in the UK. The the, those are the, the two crazy carts. The one uh, that I don't take is the one that ate itself. This is a reference back to the original film where we did something quite similar to this. But it was also an excuse for me to look cool in sunglasses again. A bit of an ongoing theme, I think, in our uh, Yeah, cool films. in sunglasses at night. Yeah, I forgot to bring my own, so I borrowed these from one of the uh, producers. Um, but this was, again, This we had to shoot this late at night. Yeah, and yeah. you turned up late because you were packing to move house. Yeah, I literally moved house uh, the but following as, morning. as you'll see, at this point we're three minutes into the video and only just now have we started on the Crazy Carts because our former producer did love a long intro. Yeah. He had a whole big story to be uh, to be told. Um, we, 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 you know what, we had some fun. It's, it's everyone's dream to be let loose in a toy shop at night. And we got to live that, and it was awesome. It, it was now, this bizarre. is what we did to cover up the fact that one of the crazy carts broke. So, Drew crashed one of them, and he found an original one that we'd borrowed to be basically a support cart. <laughs> yeah, um, that was as, as, as a tracking car, basically, to stick a camera on the back of. Um, 
There's a bunch of references in this to Home Alone too, by the way. The the first one is the fact that we hide yep. in the toy shop, which like the um, the sticky bandits do to uh, to hide inside. Amazing the shop. acting there, by the way. Oh, re I, I I'm really great. Uh, but also that suite that you picked up was FAO Suites, oh. which is based on FAO Schwartz, which was actually the toy store where they filmed yeah. the Toy Star sequence. I went for to FAO Schwartz. You yeah. can make a Muppet of yourself, and I did. You're already a Muppet. There's no need to make one I know, in New but York. now I have one that's like this big. <laughs> you traveled 5,000 miles for nothing. Hey, 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 I but love that Muppet. Th there's some great sequences in it. That was that bit there where all the balls are flying in my face. Oh, that's I everyone was. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Phrasing. Phrasing. Um, that everyone <laughs> took great delight in physically throwing yeah. those balls at me. So I, I did enjoy in throwing balls at my boss's face. Look at me looking that cool. Was, again. That was brilliant. I did enjoy doing I that. I love that gif. Um, yeah, that this he genuinely you in the got face. me in the face many times. Um, I got my Iron Man mask, and as you saw just then, um, one did go in my eye, yep. which sucked. Even though you were wearing specs. Yeah, well, it went on my eye, it left a mark. Um, on my we, glasses. We now brought they, this from home. We, we didn't. Even. We brought this from the office because we have these in the office or had them. Now this is the the shot that most irritates all of us because there's no resolution. We yeah. don't know whether it hit him. Yeah, we we needed to work on that. But this was, I think, this was the shoot where we actually got good at drifting these things. Because yeah. In the, if you watch the first Crazy Cart film, we'll put a link to that in the it's description as well. It's a little bit conservative. We, we weren't, we weren't very good. And, and now in in this bit, there's a cameo both from Chris Harris and Jeremy Clarkson. They are on the picture If you look frames. at the picture frame, but also from a longtime contributor, Rich Duisberg, uh, who decided just he had nothing to do and he wanted to join in for funsies. Yeah, we've, so we've he was our security him, guard. Yeah, working with him since the very earliest days. Jeffrey the giraffe. They asked us if Jeffrey could be involved, and the idea of this would be really funny. The problem was Drew's crazy cart was running out of battery, which is why he's so far behind. We did four takes of that, and our old producer was in the Jeffrey suit. And after the third take, he was knackered from running down the back aisle. Um, and as we reached him, <laughs> he turned round in a full Jeffrey outfit, looked down at us. This giraffe head loomed down at us and went, "For fuck's sake, guys! Why don't you?" And lots of swear words, and I got told off by a shop mascot. It, it was, was brilliant. It was a bizarre situation. So <laughs> by, by the time we get to filming this, it's about 4.35 You were broken, and when Drew gets tired, Drew becomes a belligerent child. I was really grumpy. He's like, not good at late nights. At this point, I just I just wanted to go home because I knew I was I had to be up about an hour later yeah. to move house. And I just with um, his stupid goatee. This is the best outro we've had to a film ever. This freeze frame. Oh, I, I know, it's, just, it's just fabulous. It's just a great emotional resolution because I was so tired and the next day was absolute hell for me. Is Movie this a house. bit Wes Anderson? Yes, it is. Right. Um, I hate Wes Anderson films. They're too whimsical. Yeah, I love them. Um, because you like whimsical films. And uh, I think this next bit is Gareth. Where Gareth he really just went bossed for it, it and then felt violently ill afterwards. The, and, and we'd all been up a long time. Yeah. And Nick, obviously, <laughs> wearing our classic X-Car t-shirt. Um, uh, it was it was a fantastically fun shoot to do, but by the end of it, I was so tired. I nearly I broke Gareth's go spine on that shoot. It was, it was a really, really tough shoot. Now, there are three films. So we shot an original one in our office. Mm -hmm. This There's is the second one. There's a review as well. We did a review of There's the Tony Ali Kamani story, which Sli is pretty Slightly cool. separate to the main trilogy. This one is the second one. And there's a third one, which we shot with Ali Kamani. Yep. We had actual Ken Box. Um, and he is the coolest guy. He's a lovely, lovely person. He's, He's invented awesome. something really special. And I, I have a crazy cart at home. And my kids love it. And we have a go... No, as often as is we can. Is that the one you nicked from the old office? Yes. And it is, uh, it is a fantastic product. If you haven't checked it out, you definitely should. Oh, yeah, yeah. But and uh, before anyone goes nuts in the comments, we're not paid to say this. Mm. We weren't paid to go to Toys R Us. We, we, we just do this because we're stupid. We don't actually get paid or supported we do financially by any... We do get paid by work. We do get paid, but none of the manufacturers ever pay us to say anything about their cars. No, no, no. And no, we've no, no. never... Uh, accepted any money of any kind to say anything about a car we don't believe in. We've never lied about a car nope. in our lives, which is uh, something that we're quite proud of. Anyway, 
Yep. If you would like to watch this film without us talking about it, there's a link in the description. And we'll put links into the other two or three films that we've done on The Crazy Car. And they're all worth watching. They're they're definitely uh, entertaining. Mm -hmm. uh, but if there's any films from our back catalogue, which we haven't done commentary on yet, but you would like to see, leave a comment and let us know. And we'll definitely look into doing that. But in the meantime, like, share and subscribe, please. By doing that, it helps us do what we do and keep doing it for you for free, which is all we really want to keep doing. Uh, and if you enjoy it, that would be a great way of supporting us. But for now, until the next time, goodbye. Bye.